Hello friends, I am Sporsho. In today's video, I'll share with you a very important information which is directly related with your health and health of your neighbors. We should not jeopardize the health of anyone to fulfill the gardening need of ours. Though I am growing water lilies since long time in a container on my terrace, but nowadays it has become extremely popular to grow water lilies and lotuses in container. This is because nowadays those plants are available at different prices in hybrid varieties and in many different colors. Moreover, they now can be grown in very small containers. No doubt they will enhance the beauty of your garden to a large extent. Today's video is not about their care. That video I'll upload sometimes later. But today's video is about how we can prevent growing mosquito larvae in these water-filled containers. In this video, I'll discuss three foolproof biological and mechanical methods. I have seen several videos on YouTube where they mentioned cleaning the water of the container as a method to reduce mosquito larvae. That means, if you clean the algae and other stuff regularly, your container will be free from mosquito larvae. Sorry friends, this is not true. In fact, mosquitoes love to breed in clean and stagnant water. Then, what are the solution? First and of course the best is keeping fish in your container. You can keep any breed but practically two breeds are very suitable. One is molly and other is guppy. The reason for them being suitable, number one, they produce live babies and they do that in very high numbers. So they continue to grow and multiply automatically. One word of caution here, try to keep only one type of fish in one container, otherwise they can eat each other's babies. Number two, they are very hardy and don't die easily. Next, they are very small and that's why birds cannot catch them easily and next they usually don't jump off the water but there are some problems first nowadays these hybrid plants are growing in very small containers say 8 to 10 inch pots and they have very little water in them and you will surely want to keep several such pots as you get hooked to their beauty it is difficult to keep these fishes in so small quantity water and in multiple pots. Moreover, it may so happen all the fishes can die at a time. The reason for that may be abrupt change of temperature, bar droppings of some food or offensive materials etc. on which we don't have any control. So what can be the alternative solutions? We cannot apply the normal pesticides say organophosphorus compounds which normally used for controlling this larvae as not only this will damage the plants but also will be harmful to the birds who regularly drink water from our pots. The second solution is if we can agitate the surface of the water of our container mosquitoes will not lay eggs and there will be no larvae. To achieve this we can use the aquarium filter pump or agitator which is available in the market for the aquarium or simply we can install a small water fountain that will agitate the water. These methods also sometimes are not practicable. For last 30 years throughout the world one bacterial species Bacillus thuringiensis are being used for controlling the mosquito larvae. There are several subspecies of this Bacillus thuringiensis, but only the Israelensis variety or variants are effective against the mosquito larvae. This Bacillus thuringiensis israelensis is called as BTI in short. Other subspecies or variants work against caterpillar or worms like fruit borers, stem borers, etc. These bacteria enter the stomach of the larvae or the caterpillar with their food and destroy them. The good news is no other animal including the human 
get affected in any way with them. So they are environmentally friendly and very safe to use. The application procedure of this BTI is very simple for our water filled containers. We need to apply 2 ml of this liquid for every square meter surface area of the water every 15 days. If we add in excess, there is no harm. That means we can apply 2 ml to each of our pots fortnightly to get the desired result as no pot surface area is more than 1 square meter. Now let me share with you my personal experience. This big container of mine has fishes in it so there will be no larvae. This small aquarium I kept has no fishes in it. I kept it here to collect the rainwater which I use for different purposes. It had plenty of mosquito larvae in it. After I applied this BTI, their numbers became negligible. When I can find them now, either they are very tiny ones which actually have not started to fit or the medium sized few which are really sick and can barely swim. So I can conclude that it has reduced the population of larvae to at least 90%. But since now none of the larvae are reaching the adult stage, so they cannot transform into full form mosquito. So practically the effectiveness is 100%. I have mentioned this fact because you may start using this BTI and find some larvae in your water and you stop using them thinking that it is not working. But the fact is, it is being used throughout the world and in fact in your city also by the municipality to control the mosquito larvae. Now the important question, where to get it? As I mentioned earlier, only the Israelensis variant works against the mosquito larvae. So there is high probability that you will procure wrong product if you search for only Bacillus thuringiensis and that is not going to work for you. There are very few companies who are selling this BTI in open market. They are available in 250 ml, 500 ml, 1 liter or even bigger packages. I have given few links in the description box. You can procure it from these links as per your requirements. Hope this video is going to help many friends who are growing aquatic plants on their terraces. If you know some other effective methods to control mosquito larvae, please let me know in the comment box. Share this video to your friends and relatives who are growing aquatic plants on their terrace. They will be very thankful to you. Thank you very much for watching this video by spending your valuable time. See you in my next video. Till then, bye friends. Keep safe and happy gardening.